2016 been a stressful year for black folks, man. You got two candidates nobody want to vote for. You got chaos in the streets. And for the most part, most black people get to emote the way they want to. But there's one group that can't, the black journalists. When you're blacking on TV, people say awesome stuff to you like this. The post-colonial victim I don't get it, sorry. Yeah, no you don't, fake Gary Busey. And that ain't even the worst of it. Say you're a cocaine dealer, and you kind of look like one a little bit. Uh, <laughs> he just said that out loud. Most people would have cussed that dude out, but if you're a black journalist, you got to keep your cool. Um, As do you. You look like, like a cocaine user. So. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we're even. <so. laughs> black journalists constantly have to bite their tongue. They come close to the line, but God bless them, they never cross it. Because if they do, then they'll be labeled an angry black man. You can't be emotional about anything. Especially if you're a black anchor. Look at Lester Holt. This brother had to sit right across from Trump and not react. He had a front row seat to the bull. African Americans, Hispanics, are living in hell. What makes your judgment? I did not what, support in, the war two, in Iraq. Two thousand. The record but why does not show that. Why was you, is your judgment? The record any... shows that I'm right. Look right there. Look, look, look. The man blinked 87 times. The record shows that I'm right. The shows that I'm right. If I was moderating that debate. Oh, please believe it would have gone down differently. African Americans, Hispanics are living in hell. Wait, what? You walk down the Wait, street, you no, get what? shot. You know, no, no. In Chicago. Uh -uh. Better get Billy Bush. Arguing on TV back in the day used to be simple. You are wrong. I am right. I am right. You are wrong. How you defend yourself from these people fighting all new styles? And Trump, all lives matter. Republicans free for slaves. You can't defend yourself from all that just doing this and get your ass whooped on TV. One second, 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 one second. How you let somebody yell at you on Skype? I would have closed my laptop. Get out of my face. The best of black journalists are being pushed to their limits during this election. Sometimes even by your own people. These we, people, let me finish, are you going to get a word in? Virtue we'll be right in back. the name We're of gonna go to break, hate. And we'll be right back. Are you going to let me talk? Don Lemon wanted to slap this out that dude. And what's worse than being labeled an angry black man? An angry black woman. CNN's Angela Rye never breaks on TV, but you damn sure know what she's thinking. That girl could have her own emoji keyboard. Donald Trump's done great things in his private time, too. I am a black woman. I do roll my eyes. If someone says something, frankly, that's crazy as hell, I don't think that you should have to remain composed. And that's just her silent game. Her verbal game? Oh, man, that's a whole nother level. Tell me about those tax returns, Corey, well, while well, you're at it. Watch her take down Trump's campaign manager with the Beyonce lyric. Corey, in this moment, I'm going to Beyonce not. you. Boy, bye. You don't even see it coming. You just be having a conversation about Beyonce. You need to just be glad she didn't hit him with the salon. <laughs> Nobody's come closer to the edge than Mark Lamont Hill. For good reason. Racist Mr. Magoo, I, I mean, CNN pundit Harry Hawk, he ain't to be messed with. It's not gonna be no easy win for Hill. All right. You said that it's black people are prone standard. to criminality. I wasn't able to respond to that, okay? Well, they are. Uh, but you think black people are prone to criminality? The statistics no, here no, show You this. don't mean to say that. I'm gonna give you a chance to correct no, you. You this, don't mean that black people are prone to criminality. If Harry's here, I was like right here. Here. Like, he almost got them hands. He almost got them hands. And I would reinforce the thing that he's saying, which is that we're prone to criminality. I'm telling you, well, well, 75% of the black. He's literally praying to God on national television. It was like, light bill, car note, mortgage. Jesus was the only thing that saved Mark Lamont Hill that night. Black journalists keeping their together is one of the few things moving the conversation on race forward. So I salute the brave men and women of cable news, because best believe, if I was in your shoes, I wouldn't be able to hold myself back. I, I'm just tired of the police getting the brunt of everything that's going on inside the inner city of Chicago. You people in, who live no, in no, Chicago. No, no, it's not you people, Harry. Come on. 